Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Let's School. Well, last time we had a lovely chat with the Spirit of the Well, which was a little bit weird and somewhat unexpected, but there we go. And our honesty with the Well Fairy meant that we got two more first grade students. So they've gone into that classroom there, which as you can see is now very, very busy indeed. There are 27 students in that classroom now. And the increase in kids in the school meant that we had a few too many demands put on our services. Now we dealt with some of those, like the toilets over here. There's now lots of lovely fancy toilets. We can provide much in the way of toilet facilities to the kids, which is ideal, but we do have a problem with food. As you can see up here, we're not providing enough food for the kids. So I think the plan is to get a cafeteria put together. However, before we go and do that, we need to get a new management office in because we're struggling to manage all of the things we now have in the school because we've got quite a lot of things. We've got toilets and a shop and a tea room and a staff room and classrooms and an outdoor outside play area and we've got these sort of food tent thing as well so there are lots of things that need to be managed and I think we are pretty much at our limit in terms of management so the headmaster's office is on 65 out of 70 management points and B house office is on 50 out of 54 so we're really struggling so I think what we do is we get another little management office in and that can look after facilities that can look after things like the tea room and the toilets and the staff room and all that kind of stuff. That can look after things that are not directly doing any kind of teaching stuff. And that takes the burden away from these two. And then maybe we can put the cafeteria in with the facilities people, maybe. I'm not quite sure. But if we do get another management office in, that'll just mean we can have more things around the school. So I think really we're kind of stuck unless we get one of those in. So let's go and get that in now. We did build a little bit of room down here to have such a thing. So what we'll do is... If we could just clone that pretty much, that would be perfect. Can we just copy that thing and then just put it there? Because it might as well be like that. Although, hang on, there are some windows there. That could potentially be a little bit weird. Hang on, if we just pop that down like that. Um, do you know what? Actually, is it bad that they have windows? Because if they're doing the same job, maybe they could just, you know, sort of open the window and chat to each other. Like a little sort of conversational hatch. That might be quite a good idea, actually. Okay, do you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm sort of okay with that. That's fine. I would like to have some windows across the front. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Just to make it look a little bit more sort of welcoming. Let's do that, shall we? Hang on a minute. Go and get some windows, please. Uh, go to there. Nope, go to there. Go to the right one. Doors and windows. Uh, yeah, we'll have just one of those sort of in the middle of the wall, I think. Like that. There we go. Spent a bit of money on windows again, but that's not too bad. And we'll take those windows out, actually. Hang on. Can we get rid of that? That gets us a bit of money back. And that one there as well. Okay, so now I've got another management office set up. I mean, yeah, there's not much in these. There's not much in these, but yeah, that's fine. That's okay. We can sort of pad them out with various bits and bobs. A few people in the comments did point out that we can have more than one person working in here. So I think if we wanted to increase the sort of management output of the B house office, I think some people said that we can put another desk in and have another person working in here. I mean, currently that person is, I don't know what they're doing to that, uh, those plants there. They're just you know, enjoying the lemony smell. It's like a lemon tree, isn't it? They're enjoying the lemony scent. They're trying to you know, cover themselves in that fresh citrus scent they love so much. We'll just leave you to it. It's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, so if we wanted to, we could put another desk in, but I kind of see these being two different kind of management areas. So that management office we've just put together, they're going to look after facilities. B house office looks after classrooms. And again, like the infirmary, we could move that away into the kind of facilities office if we like. So I think that's what we try to do. So hang on, how can we do this? So rename that. So manage department to, oh, hang on, no, not D. So hang on, if we come out of that one, go into there that's b house office with a b icon okay so let's change the icon um yeah okay so we don't want any of these because i see those being the school houses if you like so we've got b house um hat house the finest house maybe uh plant house and i don't know tweety little bird house maybe i'm not quite sure that's quite adorable though i quite like that um so what should we have for admin what shall we have for admin? I mean, that works quite well. A table with some sort of ancient telephone on it and some paper. That would work quite well. Do you know what? Yeah, we'll have that. And we're going to call it the facilities office. So facilities office. 
that is good. Right, so there we go. Facilities, Offic. I did put Office, didn't I? Oh, can we not have... Oh, we can... <laughs> okay, uh, Facility. We're going to call it the Facility. Um... We just call it facilities. That'll do. Just call it facilities. There we go. That's all sorted. So that's going to look after facilities. So now we need to hire a person. The only thing is some of these people are unqualified. So we're looking for somebody with the, what's that? The rudimentary management certificate. Okay. Are there any people here that have got that? No. That is, I will admit, a little bit of a nuisance. Okay, so nobody's got that. We could go for an internal recommendation. That might be quite good. Do you know what? For 160 money, let's do that. Um, oh, please tell me that's it. It's the rudimentary management certificate. That's very good. The only thing is, they only have a base training proficiency of 19. So their stats can go no higher than 19 which is not ideal. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Where are we? Uh, go back to there. These people, I think, are much better. Like Mark Turner, 30 and 21. What if... What, what we're going to have to do, I think, we're going to have to put somebody in there who already works here and then replace them. So not Ms. Lynn, because Miss Lynn is very good. Um, Oliver Curie is in the research room. Uh, Anne Lee. So could we put Anne Lee into there? So you are the homeroom teacher for class 3-1. So we could put you in, but... Oh no, hang on. Billy Hall is already in charge of the other management office. Okay, that's fine. Maybe, yeah, we put Ann Lee into there. So she is a humanities teacher. So can we find another humanities teacher? Or, hang on, Susan Turner, even better possibly. Science teacher. Okay, so hang on. So 20... Hang on. So teaching 16. So hang on, they've got 16, 12, 25... 26. 16, 12, 25, 26. Okay, so put them into there. 16, 12, 25, 26. Okay, so Mark Turner is a decent replacement. 16, 12, 25, 26. Russell White potentially is even better. So maybe we get Russell White in. A bit expensive on the wage front there, but that's okay. So I think, yeah, we get you in, and then you can train up in management to get even better at looking after the kids, so you can manage the amount of kids that are going to be coming through. And I think that should work out okay. So let's recruit you. Russell White can come in. And now which one is now going to be struggling? Which one doesn't have a, a teacher? There we are, you. So homeroom teacher of Russell White. Russell White, I think, cannot cope with that many kids. So if we go and click on that and have a little look. Yeah, 20. Oh, no, we are okay. He is okay, 20 out of 23. Oh, that's marvellous. Okay, so hello. Welcome, Russell White. How are you? It's lovely to have you here. This is wonderful. So this is your classroom. You're going to be teaching this lot over here. They're not in right now. You're teaching more than the um, than the uh, the cat there, than Barbara the cat. Oh, no, they're out and about, aren't they? Hang on. They're out and about. They're on a field trip. Oh, okay, hang on. How does that work with um, with the person that we just took away from that class to put over there in the facilities office? How does that work exactly? Are they just going to come running back in? I assume they're going to come back in. Okay, do you know what? It's all fine. They'll make their way back. So I think now we can go to here. So they're assigned to there. Just make sure. Yeah, so Susan Turner is now directing our facilities office. And they're pretty good. They're quite good. So can we do some training? So can we get... Yeah, hang on, where are you then? So Susan Turner... You can't do any better at management because you've got 25 training proficiency and your management is already 26. So we don't want to train you in that because that's expensive and it takes forever. So don't do that. However, if we then train up the new person, um, there you go. No, not Ernest White. It was Russell White. There we go. So train you up in, I mean, all of these things really, but let's train up in management proficiency. 18 up to 22, 729 money. That's okay. So confirm that. That's okay. So that training begins. And now I think we can go to here and look. So facilities currently looking after entirely nothing at all. So if we go, do you know what? The infirmary, that is a facility of sorts. 15 out of 51, 
goes on to that. Okay, now what fun little kind of management module can they have as well? They can have a little kind of management module thingamajig. Uh, okay, so I think, can we zoom out a little bit? There we go. Right, so drag the loos, put the loos over to there. So the toilets can be managed by facilities, because that makes sense. The tea room can go over there. The tea room can go over there. There we go. So I've got four things already under their control. Research on that staff training. Uh, the shop, actually, hang on. The shop can go under facilities. And it's got room for another ten points of stuff. So hang on, that's the staff training room. I kind of want to put that over there, look. So that's the staff break room. That's the staff training room. And that's the food tent. Okay, so where do we put... What do we put over here now? Under facilities. Or... Do we keep a little bit free for the cafeteria? Because I don't know how many points the cafeteria is going to take. So maybe that's what we do. But now we can get one in, look. Things are a little bit more balanced now. The headmaster's office has got some more kind of management capacity. Bee house office has got a little bit. Facilities, a teeny tiny bit as well. Okay, so management module. What can we have over here then? So research is... No, what's that? Teaching guide, sorry. So... That is, yeah, there's no teaching going on in there, so that's okay. Research is king. We're not doing any research. Extracurricular books. That doesn't matter either because there's no learning going on. Sound judgment. Management costs of managed departments minus one. All corresponding staff salaries plus two. Okay, that could be quite good. So we can save ourselves some management points, right? Um, unpaid overtime reduces the salary of managed staff by 5%. That seems a bit mean. Smart budgeting. Management proficiency of managed departments plus five, and all corresponding staff salaries plus five percent. Oh, so they become much better at managing things. Okay, um, slightly increases the discipline of students, doesn't matter. That's research, that's school donation. Okay, so that doesn't matter either. And that is about teaching. I mean, that seems quite good. Management proficiency of all managed departments plus five. Uh, if we put that in, what does that do? Does that mean that that's just better? They can just have a lot more stuff in there now, but is that going to cost us a load of money? What if we change that to that one? Management cost of all managed departments minus one. So that takes us down to 35 out of 51. So we could potentially fit another thing into there. Um, why don't we put... Why don't we put the food tent into there? Put the food tent into there for now. So 44 out of 51. Okay, and now things look a little bit tidier. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So wages for these staff in there are going to go up a bit, but there's not that many staff. Got what? One, two, three. Okay, I think that's what we were supposed to do. The only thing is now we don't have that much money left to go and um, to go and get ourselves a cafeteria because I imagine they're going to be quite expensive. Let's go have a quick check. Now we can actually have a look at these. So cafeteria is where are you cafeteria We've got all these other rooms we need as well we need music rooms and art studios and everything else cafeterias are 100 minis per square and i don't think we have anywhere where we could particularly build one we could put one over there but really what i'm thinking is it should go over here really so there's a shop there and the cafeteria could go over here at the back of the school i'd quite like that can we expand that out can we just get ourselves some kind of brick, some brick stuff over there? It's going to be three and a half grand. That's going to leave us with 2,200 monies. <laughs> oh dear. Do you know what? Do it. Let's get it done. We'll try and work toward it. And just in the meantime, can we put a few more seats down over here in the food tent area? Just lob a few chairs down just to see if that's going to work. So hang on. We will add... Oh! Hang on, we've got better facilities. We've got better things because we've had upgrades. We've researched upgrades. So now the food tent's still there and the dining table for two is still there. But look, we've got multi-seater dining tables, which adds plus 16 to our food services. Oh, that's very, very good indeed. And a sweet potato charcoal grill. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, right, hang on. Take those two things out and put in the sweet potato charcoal grill. Just sort of put that, um, I kind of want it facing the other way. Uh, like that, look. 
Can we have it like that? Pop that there like that. So that gets up to 54 out of 63 and it makes it look better. The facility score goes up a bit. And then can we just get rid of a few of these and then put in the fancy long kind of multi-seater table thing? Uh, if we could, could we get a few of these in? Could we put, say, one? Uh, it's a bit cramped, isn't it, this? But maybe it'll do the job for now. How much is that? Plus 16. So I think if we can get two of these in, can we afford two of these? 650 apiece, good grief. So I put one in like that, 58 out of 63. And then if we take that away, can we fit another one next to it? That's what I'm wondering. No. No, we cannot. Okay, why is that? Why can't we fit another one of these in? Uh, are we only allowed one? Can we only have one of these? I'm not sure why. Can we put those back in then? So we need some more of these. Or do we need to get rid... Can we put it in that way round? <laughs> so what if it fits sort of down there? I don't know why we can't build it. I guess because there's not enough space around it. That's what I'm assuming. Um, okay. What we could do is... Can we pick up those things? Can we pick that up? And sort of move that... Oh no, I wanna, why can't I move... Uh, okay, hang on. I can't move some of the things. That's okay there. I want to pick that up, but I can't pick up the water machine thingamajig. Okay. Um, okay that for now. That doesn't leave us with hardly... Oh, look at that one and a half grand. Hardly any money, which is bad, but we'll muddle through. We often do. We'll muddle through. It's all going to be fine. So we're still not quite there. We'd need another... I mean, one of those just thrown in right now would be ideal. That would be perfect if we could just have another one of these. That would be exceptionally useful, but I don't think we can. I think it must be a space issue. Um, but then, of course, if we get rid of more of these, we're going to have to put more of the tables in elsewhere to fit everything in, which is a bit of a nuisance. Can we move these? Hang on. Can we put that there, look, at the end? Okay. So that does... Does that free up some room? Can we put that in like that now? No. I'm thinking maybe we can only have one of these. Can we only have one of those? Are we limited to one? Um, okay, that's a bit of a bother, isn't it? Never mind. Uh, can we put one of those in there then? How much are these? They are 100 each. Okay, we can afford that. So one there and one there. And then I've pressed the button to do... No, that's, that's not the rotate button, Penge. And then... Yeah, look, we can't... It seems that we just can't put enough things in. It's going, nope, you can't fit anything else in. So we're one shy. Do you know what? That will have to do for now. We are one short. So there might be one slightly hungry student. I mean, it'd be good if we could sort that out, because that is a little bit of a mess. All these kind of bits and bobs chucked in over there. So, okay, okay. It's better than it was. Hopefully now there's only one hungry kid around, and we can try and sort that out as soon as possible. Right, with all that done, with much in the way of admin done, I think, hang on a minute, what's that though? The researchers are struggling, are they? Why is that? Hang on, what are we doing? Management, so we're doing emergency drills. Okay, so proficiency 45. We've got plenty of proficiency to unlock the secrets of emergency drills. It's all fine game, don't worry about that. Right, get time ticking on nice and fast. Let's see what we can do. So we want to get the um, the year twos out on their fun trip because they're having a lovely field trip out and about. They're going down here somewhere. Look. And emergency drills is done. And I think for now, that's about it for research. I think the next thing we've got is school reform level two. I don't think we can do anything else apart from get that. So we're going to leave that for a while because I would like to upgrade some more of the stuff in here as well. We couldn't upgrade their desks, could we, last time? So it would be good if we could upgrade their desks as well, just to make them a little bit better at researching. So you lot, um, stand down, go and do some science teaching. I don't know, just go and do something else. What are you all doing now? <laughs> You're all just pretending to be busy because we're watching. I'm on to you lot. Okay, so no research for now. 
that's okay. But that, yeah, that's not too much of an issue. I'm okay with that. Run time on. Hang on a minute. Got people being a nuisance. Stop being a nuisance, you. And you lot, wake up. Don't breathe in the noxious fumes from the coal burners so much. <laughs> you'll be absolutely fine. You'll be right as rain. You, you're being a nuisance. Right, so run time on. Why are those rooms, why are they complaining? Oh, they're cold. They're cold. We might just have to tell people to, you know, put on a nice thick woolly jumper and a pair of thermal underpants. Because I don't really understand the heating arrangements. We can't put one of those coal burner things into every room. Because we'd have no money left ever again. We'd be so broke. Uh, oh, hang on. They even covered a thing. Susan Turner and the group is crossing the road when they bump into an old woman who needs their help. Okay, this is achingly familiar. We've seen this before. I think when we tried this last time, the old woman was trying to scam us in some way. But do you know what? We're going to offer our help again. We're going to be kind because maybe this is a completely different old woman who isn't into scamming young children. So, okay, offer our help. Uh, Susan Turner moves to help the old woman up. The old woman swiftly accuses Susan Turner of bumping into... Okay, right, so it is another slightly sinister old woman. Maybe it's the same one as last time. Who knows? Confirm that. Susan Turner realises they're being scammed and everyone on the street is crowding around them. What do they do? Okay, so humanities or sports? We don't do sports. We do humanities. Let's try and resolve it. With great logic and clear diction, Susan Turner is able to convince everyone that they are the victims of a con. The situation makes the old woman run away. Yay, there we go. Away with you, trickstery old woman. Okay, that's dealt with that. So they're about what, halfway there, I think. It does take a long time. It takes a very long time for them to look around the local area, but there we go. They're on their way. They'll get there eventually. Okay, so it's day four of the week and already, even though we've got two full days of learning left, 45 of our 63 students are expected to pass their exams, which is very good indeed. That's wonderful stuff. And yeah, we've got two full days yet. So I think, again, that will be up to the top. I think that'll be on 63 out of 63 before too long. If we just run time on a bit, that might start ticking up. You lot aren't helping, though. Stop being nuisances. Stop being sleepy, you lot. Come on. Oh my goodness me, this classroom is full of nuisancey, sleepy people. Right, you lot, stop being silly. You lot, wake up, please. Go to bed earlier. Go to bed earlier. Right, there are some hungry students. We do need to sort that out. We really have to get that sorted. How's it looking over there? Okay, that looks pretty good. Ah, and Russell White has completed his training. He's a bit better at managing. That's pretty good. Can we now get you doing some teaching proficiency although it will cost us a thousand money do you know what again it's probably worth it 22 up to 26 is not too shabby at all so do you know what yeah we'll have that there you go start some training there that's all wonderful um yeah we do need to think about getting the cafeteria in but i don't think six grand is going to cut it particularly when we have to pay your know, wages at the end of the day and such like that's going to be quite bad the shop looks like it's doing a roaring trade though look at that we've got a cat there which cat's that it's snowy the cat it's snowy the cat that's our newest cat i think um yeah look the shop is doing very well how much money did it make um okay today's income already 627 monies and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning so, I mean, yeah, yesterday's income 16, almost 1,700 monies. Oh, hang on a minute. They've done a thing. Right, here we go. A cryptic treasure map. The dispatch team. I find it a bit weird. It calls it the dispatch team. It's some students and a teacher. The students and the teacher that have gone out for a fun trip arrive near a residential district. A student suddenly cries out in excitement that he found a breathtaking treasure map. There are a few simple mathematicians and mathematics questions written on it. All the students were eager to try solving the mystery. Okay, try to solve it. Ignore it and move on. Why would you ignore a treasure map? No, we're going to try to solve it. Use intelligence to solve. Oh dear me. 71% success rate. Do you know what? Let's go for it. If it works, great. If not, nothing lost. You know, there's nothing to lose from this, I suppose, so give it a go. The students decipher the mathematics riddle, but the directions only lead to an empty hole in a tree. It seems like someone has gotten there first. With hearts full of regret, the students leave. But we did get five science points, I think, sort of, yeah, like achievement points, whatever they're called. And that's quite good, though. 
Okay, confirm that. New location scouted. Everyone is so full of energy that they scout the area around the school before returning. We've now familiarised ourselves with the area around us. Okay, so they've been out to here. So what do we have? So there are the dispatch team. Some of them are quite jolly. That's wonderful. Well done, you lot. Good job. Right, what do we have? Oh, crikey. There are loads of things down there. Hello, I'm Headmaster Alba. Pleased to meet you. Okay, hello, Headmaster Alba. Your soul feels beautiful like a refreshing painting on canvas. Oh my goodness me, you're fabulously eloquent. I like it. I admire your principal teaching. I hope we can work together to allow our students to freely dance between art and intelligence. Yes, we haven't quite got around to the whole art thing yet. We haven't done that bit yet, but you know what? We'll get there in good time. So, okay, they are from Sakura High. As you scout new locations, you can discover new communities and encounter the headmasters of other schools. Since there is a limited number of communities in the area, we need to compete with the other schools. Okay, so confirm that. So that is who we might be competing against. Sakura High down there. So we can have inter-school communication. We can praise them and be nice. We can denounce them and be a bit mean. Right, okay. So that means we can learn about the headmaster. So Headmaster Alba, age 32. Okay, so they're quite a young headmaster as well. Is an artist whose mind is filled with romance. Her words have a poetic air to them. Romance is always the melody she hums to. She loves painting and in terms of hobbies, reads anything related to art. Anything you achieve in art will garner her envy. Ah, right, okay, that's the one thing we haven't quite done yet. We've not done art so far, but never mind. Okay, that's good to know. And at the moment, they're kind of, yeah, we're acquaintances. We're sort of okay with each other. They've got 1,772 school, uh, school score, and they've only got 40 students. Okay, so we've got a few more students. What's our score? 1,640. So there, hang on, what was theirs again? Uh, once. So there's a little bit more than ours. They're a tiny bit ahead, but not too far ahead. That's okay. We can kind of muddle through with that. That's pretty good. Okay, so we could praise them. We could be nice because we like the headmaster. Um, and then we've got another region over there, Ground Shear. Okay, so Ground Shear want to do... Uh, oh, they want to do what we've got now. That's quite good. So if we build a bicycle shed, we could get some students in from Ground Shear. So yeah, they want humanities and science, but they do seem to pay... Do they pay a little bit more? Exam completion reward per student. So 966 and 6, whereas from... Hang on, where's Mudford? Where are you, Mudford? That's Theatre Boulevard. Where's Mudford? It's going to be around here somewhere. Finch Bay. Um, I can't... I don't know where Mudford is. <laughs> I thought that was it. Mudford's right outside the school, I thought. But never mind, I don't know. I think... They're going to be slightly better paying students, possibly. I'm not quite sure, but okay. Uh, and then down here, a farm trip. Unwind in the soothing embrace of nature. The Ministry of Education decides to subsidise the cost of student field trips in an effort to bring students closer to nature. Okay, what does that get us, though? What does that do? Do they pick up some science points, or do they pick up humanities points, or what? Or do we get money? The icon above that implies that we get some money for it. But I'm not entirely convinced. Okay, there we go. So we've uncovered another area and a rival school, which is intriguing. But okay, right, that's all good. What's that there? What is the current issue with this? Hang on a minute, hang on. Why is there an issue? Um, We need... Ah, we need a biology lab and or a computer room. Oh, oh dear. The courses have been put on hold. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, we are... We're struggling in terms of science, aren't we? That's not good. That's not good. How expensive are those rooms? We, we might need to get to the end of the year before we can build a cafeteria. We need the money from all the exam successes. Um, okay. Pop up a floor. Because, of course, we can build along here as well. Is that room complaining because it's cold? It's cold and dirty. Oh, we didn't put a cleaning thing in here. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Quickly, gra grab a grab a pan. Grab a dustpan and brush. Hygiene. Um, cleaning supplies cabinet. Oh, we've got an upgraded cleaning cabinet thing. Oh, right. Put that right outside there. And that means that people can clean that up. Okay, that's very good. And a rubbish bin. Clean arrange. Now, why don't we put a bin? How expensive is that bin, actually? 600 monies for a bin. Good grief. Um, okay, we'll 
we've already got cleaning stuff up there. That's okay. That cabinet is enough. That is absolutely fine. So I think maybe over here, maybe over the other side of there, we could have, say, the computer room and whatever else it was that we needed. What did we need? Computer room and a biology lab, was it? Yeah, biology lab. Oh, the biology lab is kind of what we need right now. Okay. So can we get one of those in? Oh no, we're going to have to build foundation for it to go in. I kind of wanted that to be maybe for an expansion to the infirmary if we need it. So I'm thinking, yeah, if we just have maybe right opposite there, we could have the biology lab. How expensive is that going to be? Hang on a minute, where is it? Biology, 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 I can't see it. There it is. It's, oh, it's only 15 per square. That's quite cheap. That's quite good. Okay, no, wonderful. We'll have that. Absolutely, we will take one of those. The cost is going to be actually getting the foundation in. Um, so how are we going to do this? We're going to come up the stairs. So that's three. That's three. How big are these classrooms down here? Three. Do we want them to be one square bigger so we can fit more kit in there? Some more fancy kind of biology lab thingamajigs. Because I suspect that... Hang on, come out of that. Uh, yep. Yeah. Come out of that, please. That's what we're going to need in there, isn't it? So if we go to there, go to a biology lab, can we see what goes in them? No. But I imagine there's going to be all sorts of fancy biology bits and bobs. Um, yeah, if we type bi -oh, that that doesn't help at all. Okay, that didn't help. Um, none of that's helping it. Okay, right. Forget, forget searching for that. I think we make it... Four by however big those are. Four? Do we make it four by four? A nice square biology lab. And then just build the other one across there, possibly. Joe, you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to go for it. It's going to be four by four if we can afford it. So like that and like that. Four grand to get the foundations in. Crikeys. Okay, right. So pop that in like that. Now, I think we will get some money back because... We've taken the roof apart. When we built that, we built it over some roof bits and uh, we got some money back and I was a bit confused, but some people in the comments said, oh, yeah, it's because you demolished the roof. So you got some money back for that, which is quite good. So we are going to recoup a little bit of that. So we get a tiny bit back. But yeah, we've got, what, 3,600 monies. Of course, we have to keep a little bit aside to pay the wages because the staff do need to have some wage assigned to them at the end of the day. So this could be... A little bit tricky so that's going to be a room that needs to be a corridor kind of heading over in that direction but that's fine for now so we'll have a big biology lab i mean that potentially looks that looks massive okay five grand so what time is it 1207 can we get one of these in can we fit one of these in can we afford such a thing minimum size is 25 so hang on uh, how big is that's 5, 10, 15, 20. So it's got to be at least that big. Uh, I think, do we make it? I mean, that now seems, that seems enormous. That seems huge. 960 million. That seems just like a vast, vast room. Um, hang on, go and check these again. How wide are the current classrooms again? They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're 6 wide. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six by eight. Okay, so if we measure that out over here, so if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so that's a little bit smaller than the current classrooms. Do you know what? Make it that big. That's absolutely fine. Right, big old doors going in. Put them right in the middle of the room. And then, oh no, we've got, oh no, we've got to put the desks in. It's going to be really expensive. Um, right. The blackboard. There's a bit of roof just there sticking into the classroom. That's a bit weird. Uh, right, put the blackboard there. And then we've got the biology lecture podium. Just, hang on, which way round is that facing? How much is this? <laughs> 200 money. Okay, we can afford that. That's okay. So if we put that over to one side so people can see the actual blackboard. So put that there. And then we've got a student desk. Oh, they're in pairs. They're kind of in pairs, are they? Um, so I think, are they supposed to go like that? Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, that's quite handy. However, I think that was saying, you can't afford any more than that, you silly person. You've overspent on this one. Okay. <laughs> I think, for now, let's put... Can we just have one? There's, there's two student seats. And yeah, they're both sat like that. They can both turn to look at the board. I mean, it's a bit more of a pain for that one there. But do you know what? That's okay. You're going to have to cope with it. Um, right. It's it's a terrible room. But yeah, that's why we've made it bigger. So we can have these kinds of things around. That gives us more room score. And that gives us room score. We can put some anatomy models in and various posters and things to make that room really good. The only thing is we can't afford it right now. So okay, that room. At the moment, that room is a bit rubbish, but okay. <laughs> we need to work on that. It's a minimalist room. I assume... Do the other students just go and stand around? I don't know. When it's their turn for that, do they just go and stand around? So is that still counting? All right. So it is up and running. It does count as a valid biology lab. It's just a pretty rubbish one. Okay, right. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We've got a few of these. Now, I was a bit puzzled by this. I was a bit puzzled by this last time. I was kind of, um, somebody put a comment on saying, uh, if you have three of these, if you have three, you get a multiplier. And I was looking, thinking along, we completed that one there, that one, that one, and we didn't get a multiplier to our score. But then a few other people in the comments on the previous video said, I think more, it's if you complete three goals of the same type. So if we completed, say, three research topics, we would get a bonus to our school point thing with Bob's, these things here, school level points, because we completed three of those in a row. So maybe we're supposed to leave these. The only thing is, we're not going to pick another research topic for quite some time. So let's grab that for now, because that'll get us up to 1,652 out of 1,800. And then it might be that we just try to stock up on these. So wait until they've got 300 to complete that one round and then wait for them to complete another 300, and then another 300, and we'll see if we get some sort of bonus modifier type thing from it. Maybe that's what we have to do, but okay. Right, this isn't going perfectly. I'm a little bit concerned. Fixed income is quite high, but how much are we making every day? Like, are we going to have enough at the end of the day to pay the wages? Period three currently. Right, recess. We need a lot of people on break. Oh, no, not you. <laughs> Not you, Smiley. Away with you, Smiley. Um, we need people to pop over to the shop and just, you know, buy some lovely things. Oh, and this is wonderful. 28 money's coming in. It's a bit cold out there, a bit snowy, but that's okay. Up to about five grand. That's wonderful. Is it busy outside as well? Yep, yeah, that's looking pretty busy too. Okay, 6,300 money. That's not too shabby at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, how are we on? Oh, 63 out of 63. Everyone is expected to pass all their exams and we've got an entire day left of learning. So we're going to be fine with passing the exams again. It's just going to be a case of trying now to get the new sort of learning rooms in. Because, yeah, we're going to have to get more humanities rooms in. We need to get these other bits and bobs in, biology labs and all that kind of stuff. So it might be that we spend some time now investing in those things. But, of course, we still need a cafeteria. So, okay, let's run time on until the end of the day. And, in fact, you know what? Oh, hang on. Run time on to the end of the day, and we'll make sure that we have some money to pay the wages. Because I think our wage bill is relatively expensive. Oh, Russell White completed their course. Well done. That's good. That means you can teach the children even better. We get more points from it, and that's all marvellous. Right, so 861 down to 39. Okay, so that's about four grand we spend on wages. Okay, so we have to make sure at the end of every day we keep around, what, 5,000 monies tops, possibly? That might make sense. Uh, okay, so now I think we go over here. When are people going into here? So people are going to go into there uh, on the second period. Okay, okay, that's good. And look, it's the Great Friday cleanup. So rather than having a regular kind of class meeting in the morning, all the classes, or three of them, are having a clean-up. So hopefully, the school is going to be a little bit tidier. They're going to go around and, you know, pick up the litter and chuck it away and give things a bit of a scrub and a bit of a clean. That would be wonderful. Right, let's go into here and let's get some more of the desks in. Because at the moment, it's a pretty rubbishy classroom, let's be honest. So if we go like... Uh, hang on. I don't want to rotate it round, do we? Like that. 
then bring that across uh, and then down there like that so put that in for now that leaves us with five grand so yeah we are making money right now i think because people are people are like buying stuff from the shop and what have you which is good right put that in so really we need that room to accommodate potentially 27 people so how many is that 6 12 18 oh bother okay hang on a minute um I'll put those in for a bit more because yeah class one currently the grade one is we've got 27 people in their class because the well fairy gave us two more that we didn't really need but never mind so we've got hang on what's that eight 16 24 so we need a few more desks bother okay pause time a second what we're gonna do is we're going to move the door put the door there and then we can have another three desks at the back like that and uh, um, is that right yeah perfect that'll do so hang on that's uh, that's 10 20 30 that should be able to accommodate with lots of students right that's good and then three and a half grand left we can treat ourselves to some fancy upgraded bits and bobs so we'll have a corner cabinet there which gives us plus five facility score and we'll have another one over there because they're not that much really and then we've got let's have a biology human anatomy model so we'll have maybe maybe we'll have a couple of these along this wall here let's rotate it round so i think like that so if we have one like that and then another one like that that's good for the sort of decor and it's good for the overall facility score. It leaves us with hardly any money, but that room is now up and running, apart from it's incredibly cold in there. Oh, and it's really dark. <laughs> uh, right, run time on. Can we can we get a little bit of money? Because I don't think we can afford a window at the moment. I don't think windows are a thing we can invest in currently, because it's, uh, yeah, they're a bit expensive. 600 monies, we can get a window. Can we get a large window? No. Then 900. Okay, we can now afford one large window. How about we put for now the large window just there? Okay, there is suitable lighting in here, allegedly. I find that hard to believe, but okay. And then maybe can we just get... There's no fancy lighting we can have. Right, so a fluorescent lamp. Just get a fluorescent light. Just put a couple of those in, possibly. We need... We need a lot more money to do that. Okay, do you know what? This is good. So money's come in. So where can we... Hang on a minute. People are in the dark, I think. <laughs> right, hang on a minute. So put some lights like that. And then put some... Uh, how far away are those? So yeah, put them over there, look. So, right. That should hopefully light that classroom quite well. Yeah, suitable lighting. Size is just right. We need some more decor in it. But there we go. That's okay. Wonderful. Right, run time on, and now hope that we've got about five grand by the end of the day. Don't spend any more money. Oh, but they're all cold. They're all cold up there, of course they are. They're all completely freezing. The only thing is, I don't know if we can afford to put a heater thing in there. Okay, that's a bit of a nuisance as well. Okay, yep, hello, absolutely. Just hand over all the contraband stuff. I don't think there is much, to be fair. I don't think we have much contraband for you to have. Uh, I'm no crazy waving person there, but yeah, I don't think there is that much. I think we've done a good job. Somebody said you can sell these. Somebody said you can sell the snowmen. I mean, yeah, at the moment, it's only just sort of doing decor for the outside. Is that true? Can we sell that? Partial cost will be refunded. Uh, we got 80 money for the snowman. I mean, to be fair, let's be realistic at the minute. It's going to come up to the end of the end of the season very soon and these snowmen are going to melt so why don't we make the most of them right now and just sell them on that one was 80 okay this is fine this is all good we're making some good money out of the snowman that one's pretty much a puddle we made 80 money from a puddle right okay just keep selling them on this might mean that we can pay the wages of the staff <laughs> from our snowman says i mean that one is just water it's water with a hat on. But you know what? We will get 80 monies from it because we are somehow incredibly resourceful. I don't know how. There's a cone there. Get rid of that cone. That is another 80 money coming our way. Okay, that's very helpful indeed. Um, 
are we going to have enough to pay the wages? I'm a bit concerned. I'm a little bit concerned that we're not going to have enough. And it's really cold upstairs. Oh, I've not been paying any attention to these. You are being a bit sleepy, wakey, wakey. Anyone else being a nuisance? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, so period three coming to an end. So third period coming to a close. How are we doing over here? So class one looking good, two one. They're looking okay. But yeah, we are going to need some different... Yeah, look at that. We need a fancy humanities training room now as well. Oh, crikey. It's, okay, we need all of the things. Oh, my word. <laughs> right. Everybody has fallen asleep in this class over here. <laughs> I think we need to do some sort of emissions test on the coal burners. Because that, that can't be just down to the heat, surely. <laughs> Those people are all asleep. Okay, right. We're gassing the students slowly. It's going to be fine soon. We can take them away. Because it's going to get to the end of the end of the season. It'll be spring soon enough, everybody. Don't you worry. And then maybe by the time the next winter comes round, we'll have some proper heating solutions rather than some coal burners that clearly give off some sort of noxious fumes. Right, okay, reprimand you for being a nuisance. Are they upstairs? Are they in the cold classroom? I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry, but you're going to have to be a bit chilly up there. It's okay. Hats and thermal pants. I did mention it. Thermal undergarmentage. That's what you're going to want. Hang on a minute. You've nodded on. <laughs> Can't the teachers wake them up? Why have I got to do it? Why have I got to use my magical sort of up on high spirit powers? The teachers in there with them. Just give them a, just give them a jab. Two very dissatisfied students. I imagine because they're cold. They're hungry and shivering. Okay. That's not brilliant, is it? Um, you are... Uh, oh, a clean environment is important. Right, are you getting some food? Are you buying a snack? Because that might... Oh, no, you're playful. Okay, that sorted that out. So now the only really grumpy one is you. Why are you wandering about the staff room? <laughs> Get out of the staff room. What are you doing? Oh, no, it's still you. Oh, hang on. Now there's another one. Um, starving and playful. Uh, okay, I'm taking a story. Yeah, you're not happy. You're not happy. This will all be sorted out next time. It's all a bit cold right now, but next time, next semester, term, year, season, whatever, it's going to be wonderful. So here we go. Break has come round. The learning for the year is done. That's it. No more learning is going to happen this year. So now it's just time for the exams. You've nodded off. Wake up for the exams. <laughs> Don't be asleep and miss them. Uh, there is a snowman sell that on. I'm sorry, everybody, but we have to sell the snowmen for money. Otherwise, the school will close and you'll all be sad. Uh, right, there we go. Any more snowmen that we can sell on? I don't think so. I don't think so, but okay. Right, get through to the end of after school. The exams are going to begin. And there they go. They're going to the exam venue. Yep, absolutely. What will happen? Let's wait and see. I imagine it's going to be fine. Everybody looked pretty good. Some light bulbs and scribbly things. I wonder how the students did during the exam. We'll find out in a moment. And we got exam scores of 248. Pass rate 63 out of 63. 61 students got full marks. 61 out of our 63 completely aced it. Oh, well done, everybody. That's amazing. Okay, so there we go. Um... I mean, yeah, only those two, Frank Sanchez and Karen Wells. I mean, they, uh, they not get full marks? Oh no, 60, what? Hang on, what? It's 59 out of 42, 70 out of 42. And then 61 out of 42, 78 out of 42. But apparently that isn't full marks. You could have fooled me. They, they, it looks like they've aced it as well, but yeah, never mind. It's fine. It's all okay. So uh, there you go. Well done, everybody. And again, it's another sad farewell to our year threes. Our year threes are all going to be going now. They're going to be leaving. This is their final sort of term with us, which is all a bit sad. So now we're still down here. 248, 274 for them. Okay, but yeah, they're just slightly ahead of us, but that's okay, that's fine. We'll overtake them eventually. And then result-wise, it's an A for excellent, 100% completion rate, 41,640 monies. Oh my word, that's magnificent. We will take that, thank you. Um, yeah, Mudford likers again. We're going to have to have another intake of, um, of Mudford kids because we haven't built the things for anything else. Right, we've got... Two lots of those done. Times two. Okay. 
thank you commenting people, you are absolutely correct, a little modifier appears down here. So if we save up again, so we completed that twice, save up another, uh, what's that, 99? No. Yeah, nine, no, not, no, 89. <laughs> math with Penge. I'm not going to get any contribution points on my mathematical skills. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, if we get another 89 of those points, maybe that'll be times three, and we'll see what we actually get from it. And will that propel us up to the next school level? Oh, that could be very exciting, couldn't it? Okay. However, we do have quite a lot of stuff to do. So job number one, get some new students in. So... No new applicants. Okay, that's a little bit concerning. Do we need to move time on ever so slight? Right, there you go. Ten new applications received. And um, yet yeah, all of you. Admit all of you again from Mudford. I'm going to have to come in from Mudford, I'm afraid. Because we haven't sorted out the bike sort of uh, parking or anything. So it's all going to be fine. So admit all you lot. And um, yeah, immediately uh, yeah, press the wrong button. And immediately press the correct button. Now put them into class one so okay so they're now in there okay so hang on they're all wasn't that class one that's class two what are they are they moving through uh okay hang on so now we're going to need some oh no class they've moved to year two of course they have so was that the was the class ones so they were yeah so they were the year ones they've gone up to year two they were the year threes they've now departed these are now the final years okay Right, that's good. Or terms or semesters or whatever it is. Right, okay. So now we do have a little bit of money. We've got 46,700 money. So we've got quite a lot of things that we could do. Got many things that we could get up to. Uh, we do need to build the cafeteria and that can go over there, of course. But also we have got fancy new things for the classrooms. We've got better blackboards and better desks and everything else. So is it worth getting rid of all these things and then putting the new stuff in? So if we go to here, we can see where are we? a normal desk. So we've got at the moment shabby desks. So it provides one student with a place to sit. Obviously it does. That one, though, a normal desk, sits the same amount of people. But we get plus one facility score. And of course, if there's 25 of those in a classroom, that's plus 25 facility score. So 150 a piece as opposed to 100. Now, somebody did make a very good point in the comments on the previous video. They said when we were doing the bathroom, if we just build over the existing things, we don't get our money back. So if we can just do a quick test of that, say, over here in that classroom. So if we go, OK, normal desk. So uh, hang on, face it the right way around. That'd be a good start, wouldn't it? So if we click on that, so 46752, click that down to... Six, eight, oh, hang on a minute, I can't, hang on, six, eight, two, down to six, twelve, uh, hang on, what's six, eight, two to twelve, that's seventy, is that seventy monies, is the difference between them seventy, so we paid seventy monies for it, but I think, or maybe we do get the thing back actually, maybe we don't pay full price if we're replacing that. So I wonder, okay, okay, I can't work out the numbers in my head because it just, that's not how it works. But how are we going to do this? Oh no, don't demolish the classroom. No, 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 no. <laughs> Can we demolish a thing in the classroom? If we do that, what do we get back? 612 up to 6, so we get 80 back. Oh yeah, I think we are being given the, we're not buying the entire thing. I think we are sort of topping up the difference between the shabby desk and the normal desk. So a new desk is indeed 150, but that is now a bit less. Okay, no, so the game does actually cleverly sort of work that out. And it makes it a bit easier as well. It makes it a bit easier, doesn't it? So um, hang on. Can we do... Uh, how do we... Can we drag and drop for those? No. Have we got to click on every single one? Obstacle found in zone. Is it the panda? The panda does often prove to be a little bit of an obstacle. Yeah, obstacle found in zone. <laughs> Right, the panda is in the way, which is a tiny bit of a nuisance, but okay, and... Oh no, there. Okay, so hang on, replace that one, and replace that one. Right, okay, so we've still got 45 grand left. Let's do that for all of the other classrooms. Let's just get 
all of the fancy seats upgraded and then you know we can have at least some slightly better desks okay look, there we go we now have entirely ordinary functional desks which is good and now i think i'm hoping that if we actually replace the blackboard and the little kind of podium thing at the front and everything with fancier versions we might be able to go up another facility score level and have the teaching become even better that would be very good so that's the shabby blackboard now we want a normal blackboard so that's plus two facility score and that is plus seven okay so i think move that over a little bit shifty that over to there and then i think we might have to get rid of that that's fine and then put that in and now we're on facility level three. Oh, look it's changed the room's changed again it's got kind of fancy wall things, tripods, and we can see these things again. They kind of vanished before, but there we go. So we've got a poster of whatever that is. I don't quite know what that is, but a poster of some stuff, which is good. Right, so that's that upgraded. So a normal podium. Okay, so let's have, uh, let's have that upgraded as well. Okay, so a normal podium, more facility score. That's a bit better. Anything else we can add into here? A PA speaker helps students in art. Okay, we're going to have to have distinct kind of, you know, science and humanities rooms down here and maybe art and sports class uh, classrooms somewhere else. I think that's going to be fun. Now, that might help people in science, though. A geological model. Oh, there are many things. The classrooms just aren't big enough. <laughs> they just are not big enough, which is a little bit of a nuisance. Um, what if I do want to get one of those in? I want to get one of those into each classroom, because that seems really good. Uh, schedule board. That's a desk for stationary. But again, that could be quite useful. What's that? That is small humanities bookshelf. Okay, that's good for humanities then. Um... Yeah, that helps students with humanities as well. Um, oh, a medium humanities bookshop. Okay, let's do some reject. I didn't mean to move the entire room. I meant to move the bin. <laughs> okay, no, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Right, replace that. I don't think we can replace that with that. Okay, put the big humanities bookshelf in the corner and then get rid of the little one. And then there, could we put the geological model in? That could be quite good, but... Is there anything else that helps with science? Anything science-y, or is that it? The trigonometry ruler is science. That is humanities. That is, yeah, geological model. Let's pop one of those there. Okay, so now people can do science a little bit better. This is wonderful. And I think yeah, all these other things might have to wait. The schedule board? Could we put that? Let's put that behind that model. Look, it still counts. It's fine. Right, wonderful. So now that room is level three. Teaching efficiency, 130%. That is magnificent. Right, that's that room done. Now we need to go and do very similar things to the other two rooms to bring them up to facility level three as well. So hang on, let me just go and do some tinkering about with the other classrooms. Okay, there we go. All the classrooms have now been upgraded as much as they can be, apart from that one over there, because of course we have Smiley the Panda sat on top of one of the desks. So we can't upgrade the desk quite yet because the panda is sat upon it, which is a bit of a nuisance, but never mind. I think maybe if we just run time on a bit, can we make the panda move? Can we make you move? I don't know. I kind of want to finish that off. I just want that done and out of the way. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. And there's going to be one poor student sat in that one seat looking around thinking, why have I got the rubbish seat? There we go. Right, hang on. Hang on. Smiley the panda has moved. <laughs> Quickly spring into action. And uh, boop. And there we go. Wonderful. Right, that's facing the wrong way. <laughs> hang on a minute. Hang on. Turn it round. <laughs> uh, yeah. Res hang on. No, maybe was it the right way around? Maybe, hang on, where's, where's the back of the, oh, the chair backs are going into the window. Oh, okay. Right, the backs of the chairs are going into the wall. No, it was the right way around. Okay, right, accept that. That's all fine. So now they're all tier three rooms, which is wonderful. That's all very good. Can we do anything else over here? Can we upgrade these rooms now to make them a bit better? Do they need anything else? No office desks, filing cabinets, telephone tables. Um, nothing exciting in there. I mean, if we could just get a few more points, it would make them significantly better. It would make them so much better. What can we add into these rooms 
to just make them better. Um, how about we have some places where the cats and the panda can go? Why don't we took that into the corner? So what if we say that can go like that? That just helps a bit with that. If we get that up a bit, that'd be quite helpful. Um, what gives quite a lot of quite a lot of score? That's plus three. That is 300, it's quite expensive. Hang on, what else can we put into here? What else can we chuck in? Slogan boards, wall hanging, a banner that displays custom text, um, a flag. Let's put some flags in. We'll put a flag there and a flag there behind the desk. Oh no, that's the other room, isn't it? So we'll pop a flag in there as well. What else can we sort of just you know, lob into this room to make it a little bit more fancy? So we've gone quite heavy down the animal welfare over there because there is quite a lot of room and nothing much else is going on. So I thought, Do you know what? Let's get some animal stuff around. We've got a little kind of cat house thing and a cat climbing frame and a cat toilet and some cat food stuff as well. So that's all quite good for the cats and, of course, the panda as well. So they can come in here and feel a little bit more looked after. However... We're still not quite over into level 2 facility score, but we could be if we were to spend quite a bit of money on some promotional posters, which I don't quite know why they work so well. So we would get 8 facility score points anyway, which would get us over the line and put us up to level 2, but also we'd get 15 aesthetics, which I think would give us another 3. So really that's going to get us 11 facility score if we put one of those in, and I think it might be worth doing. So let's have a quick look. So B House, okay, so accept that for now. B House currently generates 54 management points. That seems quite good, but could it be made even better if we went to Decor and put in a promotional poster? And you know what? Let's put it there. It's huge. It's massive. Right, so do that. That is now... Okay, so accept that. So management proficiency is still 100%. It's a level 2 building. Management proficiency bonus, 100%. I feel like that's not really worth the effort game, but okay. Oh, <gasps> we've got the thing. We've achieved stage 1 of making the school look completely amazing with all of our fantastic prettification points. Oh, that's very exciting. 1,501. We've just crept over the line. So now, to go up to stage two, we've got to double that. Oh my goodness me. Okay. <laughs> right. That might take quite a long time. But okay, that's good. That's good. I'm glad we got that. Um, We'll keep that as well. Let's not sort of cash that in. That can sort of keep topping up. And we'll just you know, eventually grab that when we've got loads of these kind of cycle round. That's going to be fine. Um, so yeah, so has that done anything? Has that done anything? 54. Uh, maybe you move time on. Does that help now? 54. Okay. There's not really any point in making that better then. It doesn't do anything. Uh, or maybe it's because it's cold? I don't know. Okay, never mind. Right, so we tried to make that a bit better and it didn't really have any kind of difference on anything. Um, can we do anything in here? Can we put different training desks down? I've got shabby ones at the minute. Okay, nothing we can do in there. How about over here? Can we put down some slightly better sofas and things. I don't think we can. Nope, that's all the same as well. So really, I think it's that over there. So all these sort of classroom stuff. And then finally, we can get these done over here. So let's go to the research room and let's get as an advanced research. Ah, right, yeah, we're going to need to do some deleting, aren't we? So hang on. Uh, no, not that one. It's that one I want to press. So remove, 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 remove. Okay. So now the research room is very, very broken. So advanced research desk, that's the top bod to sit at. So they can sit there in front of the big fancy board and then everybody else can just have... Oh, no, hang on. Oh, no, that's not how that works. That's for the regular researchers. Okay, hang on, we might need to do some rejigging of things around here. This is all going to be fine. Pop the plant there, because the plant is key to everything, of course. Right, so have that. I think we might need to possibly put these kind of um, sort of face-to-face -face almost, if that makes sense. So if we put that there and then get another one, rotate it, rotate it round so it's like that, they can sort of sit opposite each other. And then we need the senior chief researcher's desk. <laughs> the superlatives desk, and then we'll put that 
again, it might need to be sort of facing around that way a bit. So if we put that, I mean, do we push that against the wall a bit? So it's sort of like that, gives them more room to walk around a bit like that. And then the other advanced research desk can go, hang on a minute, where are people sitting? The other way around. So that can go like that. And there we go. If we just move those over, just push them up against the wall, it's fine. There we go. And just to make it look a bit less busy, put the plant in the middle between the desks. There we go. So now the research room has been upgraded. Okay, that. So now they're going to be much, much better at doing research stuff when we tell them to. Um, in the moment, they're not doing anything, but that's okay. And I think there's still a snowman. There's still a snowman. Surely that's going to be melting. It's 15.7 degrees C and there's no snow. Do you know what? We're selling it for profit. We're selling it on. There you go. Wonderful. Um, I think with that done, we will wrap things up for now. And then when we come back next time, we will definitely get ourselves a cafeteria sorted over here. That is what we're going to do. In fact, before we wrap things up, now we have got a bit of money. Can we again just do a little bit of improvement over here? Just spend how much is that? So what's that, about four grand-ish on just getting rid of more wooden bits of school and replacing it with lovely brickwork. More earthquake resistant, more fire resistant. It's much better. So yeah, just spend a little bit of money on that. And then when that's done, we will then put a cafeteria in over here. And it might end up being quite a big cafeteria, but that's OK, because at some point we're going to have loads of kids around here. So I think that's the best place for it over there. That looks pretty good. And with that done, we will wrap things up for now. But another successful semester term year, whatever it is, that was pretty good. I mean, already right now, even before anyone's actually turned up, we're going to have 33 of the 57 students passing their exams, expected to anyway, which is pretty good. I am a bit aware that at some point we are going to have to get some students in from different parts of the local area. So we're going to have to build some classrooms that are dedicated to the sports and arts and things because we don't have that at the moment so we'll maybe try and do that next time as well get the cafeteria in because that is a big kind of thing that's missing from the school i'd say and then get ourselves a bike shed thingamajig put it i don't know out the front over here possibly maybe over there maybe here look over there next to the sort of play park thing so put it there people come in drop their bikes off and then head into the school we'll put a path going over to it it'll be lovely so maybe that's what we do put it sort of over there I quite like that and the school in theory could kind of come out down here maybe but whatever the case we'll work out where it goes and then I think yeah that'll be quite good and then maybe we start taking in students from other areas but again on the flip side we might possibly have to invest some of our money on building, where are they? These are the fancy things. Humanities classrooms and, I know, computer rooms and various other bits and bobs as well. So we do still have quite a lot to do to look after the students we currently have. But there we go. We'll do all that kind of stuff and more next time when we come back. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Let's School. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. I've kind of built a very horrific kind of lounge. <laughs> wow. I mean, if that's not going to give you a headache, I don't know what will. It's the balcony of doom at the minute. We've now got ourselves the jungle room, the pink room, and the teapot's tip top suite. That actually makes my eyes go a bit funny. Should we have that one? <laughs> oh, that is completely perfect and dreadful.